Hi guys, welcome to part 12 of Angular tutorial series for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tutors in 2019. Friends, in today's video tutorial, we are going to talk about two-way data binding in Angular. Especially, we will we are learning here with Angular 8. So we will do and learn what is two-way data binding, how to use two-way data binding, and how does two-way data binding works. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So to understand two-way data binding or two-way binding, first of all, you have to understand what is a binding in Angular and what is data binding and then what is event binding. So without understanding these three terms, you could just understand what is two-way data binding and how does two-way data binding works. So I will recommend you if you haven't watched my part 5 and part 6 of this tutorial series, please do consider and watch it first so you understand what is a binding and how does data binding works and how does event binding works in Angular. So after that you can watch this and continue watching this video tutorial to understand two-way data binding. So as the name suggests two-way data binding, it works both ways. It means it take data from your TypeScript file, from your TypeScript file to your HTML template file and from your HTML file it take the data and updated information to your TypeScript file. This is how two-way data binding works that it takes information, I mean your view, your HTML template take the information from your TypeScript file and then sends an updated information to the TypeScript file wherever you want to save it. So to better understand it, I have to give you a practical example. So just let's go to the Visual Studio code and see how does two-way data binding works and on which elements or which HTML elements or attributes or in other words, HTML tags does it works, uh, does work with uh, two-way data binding. So let's get to the practical example. So two-way data binding does not work on normal HTML tags like div, paragraph tag, p tag, h1, h2, h3, h heading tags or ul tags. It does not work on that thing. So for two-way binding to work properly, we do need some special kind of elements which are called input elements. So two-way data binding works better on input elements like text area, like uh, input box, like check boxes, like radio buttons, select options and so on so forth these are the major types and these are the types which are used in any forms module i mean in the form and in and, and any html forms you 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 have must have used these input elements so in angular we use these element for two-way data binding purpose though so that we can transfer information from over typescript file to over html template and from over html template to over TypeScript file. Let's see the practical example. I have opened here the Visual Studio code. Then I will go to the SRC folder, app folder, and in my app component.html file, here I will simply create an input element with type text. And what I will do, I will just remove these. This is not necessary for the time being, but it will help us in the future upcoming video tutorials. So we have an input type text. So first I will show you the manual way of working TypeScript, sorry, manual way of working two way data binding. So in two-way data binding, we need to create here and first we need to do data binding. So suppose that I want to change this title dynamically on the runtime. So I will first bind its value with the value property of our input text box and we, I simply do it like this. So if I type inside double quotes without using any single quotes within it, then it will take this as a TypeScript variable and find it in the TypeScript file and pass any value to the value property of your input box. Then I create another event and then name it input and this input can be any input. So what I will do, I will simply assign it on input and bracket and then I will pass here the current whatever is the event dot target on whatever uh, element this target is and its value. Of course, we know that this input text box have a value property. So to access it, we use dollar sign event. Make sure this is a dollar sign event. It is not a normal variable. It is a specialized dollar sign event inside JavaScript. So you have to write it like this dollar sign event. You can't write it simply event. Then dot target dot value. So it will take the current updated value of this input element and then pass it to the TypeScript. So now let's go to the TypeScript file and create our on input function. 
So now I am in app component dot ts file. Okay, I didn't save app component dot html file. So let me save it first. Then I go to app component dot ts file and I will create the same on input function here on input. And then inside this, we need to pass a variable. I can call it val and then I will create the function parameters. And inside this function parameter, I will say this dot title is equal to val. Simple like that. So now it will work. Well, if this is any, so we need to type it any data type. So just make sure that it can be any data type, or I can say it is a string. So it's coming from this HTML element, and we know that whatever we type in an input type text, it is a string. Either we type a number or we type a letter, it is a string, and you cannot calculate it normally. So it will get this result here and pass it to this dot title. So let's see it practically in the browser. So now it already get the value of the title because we have done data binding here. Here we have done data binding using property binding and we bind the title with a value property. Then we trigger a special input event and then on this input event I am calling this function. So let's say I will type here tech tech toots. So you see as I am typing here it is changing the value inside our title parameter which is shown in the welcome to and then using interpolation I am showing it. So this is the manual way of using two-way data binding where you use a property binding and event binding together to achieve a certain task. So Angular make it a lot easier by using a uh, property binding and event binding together to create a two-way data binding. Let me show you how simple is it. I simply need to remove this part and then inside this uh, property binding I simply need to add event binding type and then inside this I will write ng model and when I run this application and go to the browser it will complain me something like that can't bind ng model since it is it isn't a known property of input so what it is complaining me that this in ng model is not known so as in my previous video tutorial when I was talking about the modules I have told you that there are many modules inside angular which are very useful and they can help you to reduce your efforts and code very very well. So for to make ng model works and two way data binding to make it work we have to import a module which is called forms module. So simply I will go to the app module.ts file and inside this file I will simply import forms module from angular it is a part of angular core so i will uh, add it like angular forms and then as we know that this is a forms module so it is a module so we have to add it inside ng module decorator under imports key value pair array so i will write here forms module simple is that after that when our project will refresh and then it will not be complaining anymore that i don't know what is ng model now angular does know that it is a forms model so you see simply importing this module adding it into your imports array and going into your app component or any component which is added inside here and then adding this ng model with property plus event binding now I can bind title with two-way binding and now if I go to the browser again and type here tech tech tools and you see it is working perfectly just like what we did in manual binding so this is how two-way data binding works that first you need to import your forms module then you need to add it in your imports array and after that you add your input element and assign it ng model and it will automatically find that variable or whatever expression it is and then change it accordingly. So this is a prop proper way of using two-way data binding. So let's see some other examples of other HTML input elements like text area. So suppose I can have a text area here and then I can have input checkbox here then I can have a select with some options in it like option value 1 and then value is whatever you can type here let me show you some examples here so this one this one and this one one two three four so we, we cannot use input type radio because radio does not have a value property only checkbox does have a value property so we can bind with the text area although we know that text area also does not have a uh, value property but as it does take input just like the input type text or input type anything that means then we can use value property inside angular here 
so I will do here to a binding ng model and I can call it text txt area like this and then inside input checkbox I can call it ng model chk box like checkbox and then inside this I can again do ng model equal to slt s c t on option sct option so these three variables i have to create text area chk box and sct option so i will go text area and then inside my app component.ts i will simply create a value and then say default value and save it this green line is complaining that i need to use single quote with a small space and then i need to have another variable named chk box so chk box is equal to default value and then sct option is equal to default value that's it i have assigned some default values to them and then if i go to main my browser it will reload and it is saying that closing text select okay i think i didn't save it so let me save it and now when it reload is saying that closing tag select if it may happen when tag is already been closed i think i had didn't do anything silly here oh sorry my mistake i wrongly interpreted this ng model now i think it will work yes now again it's saying in expected closing tag slash it may happen when the tag is already closed so i might be running into some sort of trouble here so let me close this one here and sct option and we have sct option here as well and this is select oh sorry i have closed it two times so that's what it is complaining about so save it and then it will work right now out of the box so you see all boxes this is our text box this is our radio button this is our drop down all of them have default value but select box does not have a default value because it by default is empty then we have a here over check box now let's see these value i will display them here above and above the here i will create a div inside div i can simply do txt area and then i can do chk box and then i can do ct option so after saving this if i reload my page you will see all default values are here so that default value which i show you assigned to sct box or ct option is showing shown here so now if i change this value so this is text area value and you can see it is changing here and when i uncheck this value is false and then i so this normally true, true and false value this checkbox have true and false value it does not have some other value so i can do like this check box and by default if i make it true you will see it will be selected by default and if i make it false then by default it will be not selected you see it is not selected anymore so same goes here i can change its value so it is not showing value because inside over uh, option i didn't put anything in the value either i have to remove it or i need to put some value in it so suppose if i put one two three and sorry and four here so now it will show these values when i change it from the checkbox so if i change value one it's showing one when i change to two it is showing to value two value four so if i remove them then it will automatically take the input value which is written between the option like this value 1, 2, 3 and 4. So now if it reloads and if I change it, you see now it's saying value 3 and when I change it here, it is showing me value 1. So this way you can transfer your values from your uh, HTML template to your TypeScript template using two-way data binding and then you can process whatever process you want to do these uh, variables or these data types or properties you can do anything with it so guys this is it this is the tutorial about two-way data binding in angular hopefully you understand it and if you did please don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel tech tech tools then do consider and subscribe to it for more upcoming videos don't forget to press the 
bell icon notification icon as well so guys thank you very much take care and goodbye